sometimes we think of BMT as an end stage treatment, but uh, it's in the recent years come more and more in the frontline treatment, uh, especially in diseases like multiple myeloma, where uh, the the transplant is considered as a standard of care in the frontline uh, treatment. Uh, the disease is in good remission, and that's when it gives you the the most benefit uh, from a transplant. If you're used in a relapse situation and second transplants are also sometimes useful in multiple myelomas, uh, but then it should never be considered um, an end stage treatment. There are diseases like acute leukemias where uh, the transplant or the stem cell transplant uh, is used in a relapsed situation. So there are uh, specific diseases and specific subsets of diseases where BMT can be used at various stages um, but it's never an end stage treatment. So transplants uh, can be uh, considered a cure for most of the diseases that they are used for and that means a permanent treatment uh, but we also have to realize that transplants are used as, also, uh, as situations or as treatments to prolong the remission of diseases and the classical example is multiple myeloma. Um, there are several diseases that we can cure with the help of a bone marrow transplant and some of those diseases, most of those diseases are leukemia. Uh, so first 100 days of a transplant is an important landmark because the first three months or 100 days um, is, is where most of the complications of the transplant happen, especially in an allograft. And the first three months is the time period where the patients are most susceptible to infections and, and most of the graft versus host disease, which is a complication from a transplant, comes in the first 100 days of the transplant. That's the period when uh, most BMT physicians would keep their patients at a very close follow-up, maybe even weekly follow-up if they're not in the hospital, uh, to, to detect early signs of infections, to detect early signs of complications like veno-occlusive disease, engraftment, syndromes, uh, infections. So the food has to be nutrition, nutritious and it has to be clean and cooked. So preferably avoid eating outside and uh, maintain an environment uh, which is hopefully clean and free of infections. Uh, the other important things to note are uh, to not go out in crowded areas and to maintain distance from people who have an obvious infection and to make sure uh, if you have to go out in crowded areas uh, then wear a mask. The bone marrow transplant fails which means that we have to deal with that situation appropriately that the drugs that worked earlier or the drugs that worked pre-transplant or during the transplant may not work uh, and we have to devise strategies which are different uh, and which are novel. Uh, this is the place where uh, sometimes novel drugs or clinical trials will be useful uh, and there are various types of therapies uh, including bispecific antibodies or um, CAR T cells or other cellular therapies that, that can be useful in these situations. Uh, and of course the choice of these therapies depends um, on a particular patient so an individual decision has to be taken in each patient.